Okay, welcome to Math Today. Today is Wednesday, September 30th. Today is the last day of September. Tomorrow, when we come, it's going to be October. So after September is October. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Woo! Go ahead and push pause, and I want you to practice counting to the number 70. 70. 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Practice counting to 70. Push pause, then you can push play when you're finished. I'm gonna pull up my math worksheet for today. We are on the number 22, where we're going to practice writing the number 20. The first number in 20 is the number two. The second number 20 is the number zero. So we're gonna write 23 times, okay? So first we're gonna do curl around and slide to the right, make an oval and that is all to make the number 20. Next one, curl around and slide to the right, make an oval and that is all to make the number 20. Curl around and slide to the right, make an oval and that is all to make the number 20. Great work. Okay, moving on to number two. It says, Carlos has seven baseball cards. For our baseball cards, we're gonna draw rectangles. So draw seven rectangles. Carlos had seven baseball cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He gave three cards to his friend. So we're gonna cross off three because he doesn't have them anymore. He gave them away. Draw a picture to show what happened. Okay, that's what we did. How many baseball cards does Carlos have now? How many are left? One, two, three, four. So seven take away or minus three equals four. Number three, how many apples are in each row? Go ahead and count the apples. One, two, three, four. Write the number on the line next to the row. How many apples in the second row? One. How many apples in the third row? One, two, three, four, five. You can do the last row. Two. Okay, you need a green crayon and a red crayon. All right, to get your crayons, it says, use a red crayon to color the apples in the row with most. What you can do is you can find the apple row that goes the farthest, because that will have the most. So right here, this goes all the way here, and it's the one that has the most, because these ones are empty. Or you can look at the number and see which one's the biggest. Is four, one, five, or two the biggest number? Five, so we're gonna color those ones red. You can just kind of circle them in, color them red. Okay. Use a green crayon to color the apples in the row with the fewest. Fewest means smallest. Which one is has the smallest amount of apples in the row? Number one, color that row green. Keep your red crayon out. It says on number four, color the squares red. How do you know if something is a square? A square has four equal sides. So this first one is a square. We're gonna color the squares red. Okay. Okay, this one has a lot of, in oh wait, actually we missed a part on number four. Color the squares red. How many squares did you color? How many squares did we color? One, two, three. Right, a three in the line right above that circle right there. All right, it says here, this is an instruction, so we're working on following the instructions, okay? It says, circle the sixth shape. Listen to this, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Circle the sixth shape. 
Very good. Put an X on the fourth shape. First, second, third, fourth. We're gonna X that one out. And last, color the fifth shape yellow. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So grab your yellow crayon and you're gonna color that circle in between the X the X'd out square and the circled square yellow. Nice work today. Great job. I'll talk to you tomorrow on October 1st.